Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's do this in English. Welcome to the Boss Queen and Morning Show because it is Monday. Oh, no, Monday. It is Tuesday somewhere. No, actually, it is morning somewhere in the world. Okay, let me just get my energies right. And actually, speaking of energies right, let's get... Uh, Instagram back in as well. So we've got both channels happening at the same time. Hey, 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 hello, Facebook and Instagram. I should say Facebook and Instagram. So let's do that again. It is the Boss Queen morning show because it is morning somewhere in the world. And of course, if you're tuning in, this is your soul abundance channel. As long as you tapped in here, you're automatically tapped into the abundance of the universe and you're getting goodness, straight downloads from my soul and my heart all around money, manifestation, mindset and marketing, aka how to blend the world of strategy, the doing, the marketing and the figuring shit out <laughs> with the spirituality of being of a channel to receive, having the right mindset and all that sort of stuff. And today I am having a cool little topic for you and that is can you please stop saying tomorrow? Tomorrow, I love you, tomorrow, da, 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 it's just another day away. Okay, here's the thing. Hey, Courtney, how you doing, mate? Tomorrow is actually one of my pet hates because, and here's the thing, I'm going to kind of touch on it and give you a couple of things to think about because that's how I roll. I like to give you things to think about because I am sick and tired seeing people struggle. And I want them to have it all because I know that you know, a part of you, inside of you knows that you are meant to have it all. You know, permission is daily granted by myself and the universe and everyone around you, hopefully even by yourself, that you can do have it all, be, do and have it all on your own terms. However, this is what tomorrow, oh, I'll just, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, 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 I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, yeah, 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 I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but tomorrow just ends up becoming never. Not always, but most often. And so it kind of gets me to think about, you know, that, okay, I get it. You probably are driven, you are like an A-type personality, you love to get a lot of shit done. My list for this month alone is humongous. It is huge, it is long, there's a lot of things on there. If I was to probably um, complete all of these projects, I would probably have to work 24 seven consistently. And I'm not sure if I'm prepared to do that because I also like to have a thing called life. <laughs> I also like to have a thing called uh, fun and I like to have a thing called sleep and self-care and all the other things now but it's a fine balance and you know I don't know if there is a balance you know like maybe there are days where you obviously gonna push more and you're gonna do more and you're gonna kind of find that extra like surge of energy and that extra bit of extra goodness because that's actually like where the real magic comes from but at the same time I get that you have a list that is super long and you want to do a lot of things, but at the same time, how many things do you actually get done and how many things do you keep pushing to tomorrow? It's like that next that tomorrow pile, tomorrow pile, tomorrow pile, because all of a sudden, you know, it's like, it's just somehow inconvenient because it's too cold. Like right now in Australia, everybody's like, oh, it's so hard to get up in the morning because it's bloody cold, you know? Whereas in, in, in Germany right now, everyone's like, oh, it's so hard to do the work because it's so bloody hot. Obviously not with an Aussie accent. <laughs> they go, yeah, yeah, too high, it's too hot. You know, they're like, oh, it's too hot. Have to do it tomorrow, can't do it right now. You know, oh, it's too cold, it's too dark. I'm too hungry, I'm too stressed, I'm too tired, I'm too overwhelmed, I'm too whatever you know and oh and this is just not the right you know circumstance and here is something and my dog and my cat and my girlfriend and my kids and you know i'm not saying there's no like no legitimate reasons i'm pretty sure that at certain stage there's pretty like there are some legitimate reasons why you could move everything to tomorrow um, but what if you could just find a way to get over the circumstances, get over yourself and take control of your life and actually do the thing that really needs to get done today? 
Well, guess what? You did that every day. What if you took fully charge and took full control of the ability to actually do things today? Guess what? You did that every day. You would actually change your life radically because it's not freaking hard. It's not rocket science. It's about doing the simple things every day. Like you want to lose weight? Get your ass to the gym. Do a good workout. Eat healthy. You know, take care of yourself. Drink lots of water and do that every day. Drink water. Move your body. Eat healthy. Move your body. Drink water. Eat healthy. I mean, what? It's not rocket science. But people go, oh no, I can't work out today because you know. Oh, I'm still a bit sore from yesterday. It's like bringing on my old personal trainer day and I'm kind of doing my own eight week challenge. So, you know, I'm talking the talk, you know, like, oh, I can't do it because I'm too tired because I don't know, I've worked late last night and I don't know, and I've got like loads of appointments. I don't know if I have enough time. Oh my God, seriously, stop doing that. Stop putting things off because I think in a way it's like, it's just a cop out really, you know, if I offend you, oh, well, too bad. Um, if you think differently, please enlighten me. I mean, like I said, I, to an extent, there's probably legitimate reasons and legitimate excuses and you can still choose to ignore them and do the shit anyway. And then also there's different days where you go, you know what? No, I've done enough. And again, it's not about doing too much. I mean, you can never do too much. Can you? I don't know. Um, and that's not the conversation. The conversation is push, putting things off, putting them off. And it's kind of like you keep thinking that tomorrow's going to be a better prerequisite. Tomorrow's going to be better circumstances. Tomorrow, it's magically going to become easier to all of a sudden do all the things you always wanted to like be doing. What you don't understand is tomorrow is not going to magically change everything. Tomorrow, you're not going to wake up with magical superpowers, magical extra downloads, creativity and inspiration, motivation, the clear, you know, the clarity. Um, it's not going to happen. You're not going to wake up and everything's going to be all of a sudden perfectly lined up for you. So all of a sudden it's like, here you go. Clear road, go for it. No, no, no obstacles, no roadblocks, no challenges, go for it. Because, you know, you said tomorrow so often now, it's kind of like you deserve a break. <laughs> no, that's not going to work that way. And then the thing is, because tomorrow, something else could happen that could be out of your control. Because tomorrow, because the thing is, here's the thing. First of all, tomorrow is not even promised. Because I hate to say it, it's kind of morbid, I know but tomorrow you could actually not wake up. Tomorrow your life could be taken away. Tomorrow you might actually, like something may happen, oh, God forbid, obviously bless, bless, bless everybody. I'm just kind of going, you know, you know what I'm saying, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Um, but the thing is like legit though, like something it could actually happen tomorrow that's gonna be out of your control. So tomorrow you might get a phone call and someone might really need your help or tomorrow something happens that you know, it's actually like shit, you gotta take care of that. And then what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Oh man, I'm really annoyed at it, but you know what? There's always tomorrow, there's always tomorrow. No, well, actually, there's not always tomorrow. Do you not get that? So anyway, that's my little rant for today. Um, I don't even know if I have any particular tip apart from just do it today. <laughs> You know, like just do it today. Stop saying tomorrow. The thing is, like I said, I think in the back of your mind, you kind of think if you keep pushing it, like putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, you kind of think that the everything's going to magically align for you and the, the perfect circumstances are all of a sudden going to be perfect, perfect time, perfect energy, perfect inspiration, perfect motivation, perfect clarity, perfect confidence, perfect words, perfect selling abilities, perfect promotion, perfect people coming into your space I hate to crack it to you you make it bloody perfect you make it perfect by showing up today by doing the best of your ability right now in this very moment and I'm not saying you need to do everything every little thing that's what I'm saying it's like obviously I'm not here to tell you anything really it's, you know I'm just saying but like, you don't have to do everything. I mean, like seriously, like my list is crazy ass long and excites me and I will do as much as I feel like it and, and a little bit extra or maybe I go, you know what, actually, fuck, I've done a lot and actually whatever, whatever, who cares? Like it's not, it's, it's not about the amount of things you do. That's what I'm saying. It's not the, 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 the quantity. It's a fact of just do the thing that you said you're going to do. And that's the other thing you got to say, you got to do what you say you're going to do. If you keep saying tomorrow, if you say tomorrow, 
but then you show us how to do it tomorrow. Because if you are just a talker, not a doer, you're saying to the universe, you actually don't really want it. Like you kind of would like it, but you don't really want it. It's not like a fully 100% decided, committed, declared, it is mine. You know, you're kind of saying, it's kind of, it would be nice, like I really want it, but I'm not sure if I'm prepared to do what it takes. Well, and that's the case, then, you know, you got it right there. So that's it. Be a person of the word, of action today. And if you say you're going to do it tomorrow, then do it tomorrow. And um, otherwise, you cannot expect the universe to like do everything for you. You know, you got to leap, you got to step up, you got to rise to the occasion and keep rising and rising and rising and raising your standards and do the things you say you're going to do. And tomorrow, come on, man, seriously, how often do you want to play that card? So anyway, speaking of which, tomorrow I'll be there again. <laughs> um, listen, so that's it. I mean, let me know what you think about that, you know, if that resonates with you. And especially like this being July, we're halfway through the year. You know, I feel like so many people are especially on edge in a good way, like fired up, ready to rise. And of course, if that is you, and you say, you know what, Serena, you're, re you're absolutely right. I do no longer want to keep saying tomorrow. I no longer want to keep putting things off. Then I invite you to message me, hashtag ready in the, to the conversation, either here, either on Instagram, or send me a private message or connect in my Facebook group, Soul Boss Queens on the Rise. Of course, I work with Kings as well. Um, and let's talk about rising. Let's talk about getting you to rise. Stop you know, putting things off, getting you to rise today. Um, obviously, Money Queen is happening on the 15th of July. That's a six weeks money intensive. So, hey, you're looking to make more money and you kind of want to know what's been kind of holding you back from actually becoming that person who naturally, automatically, easily and effortlessly just receives a fuckload of money then this program is for you, right? If you've done some strategies, you've done some work on yourself, you've worked on like mindset and belief system, and perhaps you've done some work energetically, but you're still not where you want to go, this is for you. If you're completely new and you're like, actually, I've done none of that work, but that really intrigues me, that is for you. If you legit are committed to become the person who's ready on a rise, who wants to leave the money drama cycle and wants to rise into wealth consciousness, this is for you. And if for whatever reason you say, I don't want to work on my money, but I want to work on strategy or whatever, then send me a message. Hashtag rise, right? Let's do it. Then we can also see if there's another uh, thing that we can call into reality together. We can work together on. Um, I will see if this is a fit. And if not, then that's cool. No pressure, no obligation. Then, you know, just listen to this and remind yourself to stop saying tomorrow. When you catch yourself saying tomorrow, you go, actually, what is it I can do today so I don't put it off till tomorrow, okay? So that's it from my end. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for letting me rant. Thank you for letting me kick up your butt let me, or let me kick your butt. Um, thank you for letting me be myself because that's the only thing I know to do really well and that is to be myself. And of course, trust that everything I do say comes from a place of love and uh, I will see you tomorrow all right and remember permission to be do and have it all granted and of course by the way if you want to share this video if you feel like hey someone else needs a good kick up the butt then by all means share videos share tag them do whatever tag them under here share the video get the message out there that people need to stop saying tomorrow because tomorrow things are not going to magically all line up perfectly no 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 sorry that's the truth anyway take it or leave it love you lots big hug lots of blessings make today absolutely amazing today right today not tomorrow today okay anyway take care i'll see you tomorrow